Hello, hello, Klaus Hoa. Nice uh, to have you here. Hi, Holger. Um, according to your experience and your practice, do we need new organizations? Uh, if the organization do nothing, then there come up challenges and pressure. And then the organization and the people there have a time window of acting. And if they do nothing, then the environment maybe will um, act in a way that the organization will fall in. Uh, in a short way, you could say uh, there's a flow in a mostly a lot of organizations, and this flow spoil away the way how you deal with organizations in an old manner. And in the center of the focus, uh, they uh, come the people and the in-between of the people. Do we need a new leadership style than what is prevailing so far? I think for the leaders come up the, the, the same challenge as for the organizations. The leaders have the need to act, to react, for people who say we want to lead in another manner. And if they do, that one works wonderful. And if they say no, we can't, then they could create some problem, problems with all, all of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. for, for the Berlin Change Days, you have chosen the topic uh, of caregiving in organizations. What does that mean and why is caregiving in organizations so important to you? Uh, now for the, for the Germans in the audience, I would say Raumpfleger. But you say that the center of this is to create a room. Right. And it's an invitation in the room. And you could say what should be happened in this room. And if you uh, have a, a high-speed organization with uh, upcoming of complexity and of speed, then you could say who are uh, responsible to deal with these issues. And there will be the people and the in-between of peoples. And what they do, they uh, are in the same room. And who is uh, responsible for this room? And then the answer you could come, the leaders should be the, the room keeper, the room cleaner, and the caregiver of this room. Yeah. And this is uh, a totally uh, shift in the, of the role of leaders. Yeah. And I've seen so many leaders who could say they wanted to act in the old way. Yeah. And then the pressure is coming up. Yeah, it coming it comes from the environment. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, that uh, um, a product, for example, or value uh, should uh, succeed in a certain time. Uh, then the in between of organizations is too slow. Yeah. And in, in former times, we could find uh, uh, solutions with projects or, or with matrix organizations or something else, yeah? but it's too slow. Yeah? And therefore, the human beings, they come in the role to speed it up and to deal with, deal with complexity, to don't know all things, but to act and to decide in a certain time. And that's the, the pusher, you could say, for this caregiving. But you have... Uh, uh, um, a leadership style before uh, this caregiving, and this is supportive leadership. Yeah, it's coming up in the U.S. ten years ago, twelve years ago, and that was the role for the leaders to, to support his employees. But I think, in in my experience, it was not enough. It was always to focus the leader is the actor, and that's not the situation anymore. All are actors. All are actors, and the leader is not only facilitators or or, or change agent or whatever else. He, he create a room and he hold this room. And if it runs in a good way, then it's a room of trust and of co good communication. Why do you think trust is so important uh, in modern organizations? Oh, that's my experience. Some years ago, we had some pilots of new leadership learning. And as we seen that trust was coming up, then it was, uh, yeah, the game was winning. And for a long time, yeah, I say it. Uh, the learners in this uh, in this leadership coaching, yeah, they were going all over a bridge, and they were in a new landscape. And this was a landscape to have no longer fear, to say open what's going on, to challenge the others, yeah, and to invite them uh, to join this new way of come in between. And trust is the creator of, uh, yeah, of this new success. I remember a colleague yeah, as I prepared this interview, and he is head of R and D in a, uh, in a uh, global acting company in technical area. And we were in discussion, and he said to me, "Ninety nine of our problems that we still have in our product development areas come from the human beings. Ninety nine percent." come from the human beings. 
Uh, and that means it's not an issue of trust or communication. It's the issue how you how you deal with the human beings in the organization. And trust is only, you could say, the most important issue. What you could recognize if human beings working together. Yeah? And that's not the way how a lot of companies um, working today. Yeah? They have to change. And that means that I think it's the pressure of the environment. They could change by their own insight or they will get pressure from this environment. Uh, no role model of leaders. The leader is not a role model. The leaders serve the organization. He's a servant. Thank you, Klaus. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to having you on the Berlin Change Days. Thank you, Holger. Best for you, meanwhile. <laughs>